Hi, I'm Tommy Day. I am the IS Project Manager. Uh, I'm going to show you how to back up your computer. This video is going to be that uh, explainer for you on how to do it yourself. It's not, it's not as hard as it sounds, I promise. Uh, I will walk you through it uh, and we will get through this together. So let's do it. All right, so we're going to pop on over to my computer so you can follow along with me. Uh, so now you can see we're just at the desktop. So if you all get to this point, um, go ahead and head down to your start menu. That's that uh, Windows icon right here where you have access to all your applications. Click that. Uh, everything will be alphabetized. Scroll down to D and we're looking for an application called Drive File Stream. So this is going to be a really easy, simple tool that Google gives us uh, to back everything up. Go ahead and click that. It will not open this. It will open this. There we go. Uh, and you just go ahead and log in with your U46 email account. Don't log in with mine, please. Let's go ahead and do your username and password. And if you have two-factor authentication, uh, you'll have to do that as well. Once you're logged in, you'll see this window right here. It's just an explainer of what this program is, what it does. Uh, you're already stuck watching this video, so feel free to just X off of here. Um, and then this window will open, and it looks just like your um, a flash drive is how it's best described. So it will show up exactly if I were to plug in a flash drive. Um, you can see it is listed as Google Drive File Stream. So then I have my drive, I can go ahead and click into here. And this is everything that's in my Google Drive. So it shows up exactly like if I had plugged in a flash drive into my computer. It's in under what used to be my PC, now it's this PC. Um, so everything is in here. So if I wanna back up the stuff that's on my desktop, I have some mileage forms, I have a very important document um, I have some meeting minutes. All I got to do, click and drag, click with the left uh, mouse to highlight, and then just drag it over, and that's it. Um, you will need to check to make sure everything finishes before you get that new computer. Um, so you can see these are just uh, fairly small documents, but they did take a little bit to actually sync. So if you're doing everything, uh, say I wanted to, just for demonstration's sake, I'm gonna pull these, put them on my desktop. While we're doing that, I'm gonna take these very important documents, put them into Google. I already have some of them. They don't go right away. They, they um, will take a few seconds. So if you're doing hundreds or even thousands of files. Uh, it's not gonna go right away. So we recommend you do it uh, at least seven days before your swap date. Those will be sent out uh, by school of when you can get your new computer swapped. Um, but you will need to do this before you get that computer. Uh, so now that I've pulled these out of here, I'm gonna go ahead and just put them right back in just because I've shown you. Um, obviously they're already in there. I'm gonna go ahead and replace them. And it says copying, and it says it finished. We're gonna go ahead and take a look. And it's sitting there, and this is the status that you want to trust. You don't wanna go with that pop-up that shows up there. Um, you wanna go with this toolbar. So to get there, you click on that little arrow. It's this, it looks like the Google Drive logo because it is the Google Drive logo. Uh, you just click it, uh, and it will show you everything that is uh, backed up. So then you can go through all of your files, go through pictures. I don't have anything. Uh, we can go through, let's see, videos. So these are all the video files that I'm working on for this video. This one is actually the one I'm recording right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, all of these I'm gonna put in here, even though most of them are me flubbing words. Um, no big deal. But then I can just take this file stream video, 
that I am making right now, and I want to put it into my file stream. And that's it. I just did it. Uh, so those, since these are bigger files, if you have, uh, say, smart notebook files that will be, you know, the massive PDFs, or if you have videos you use for instruction, it will take a little longer. Um, it's still pretty quick, but if you are doing it at the same time as everyone else watching this video, it, it will slow down a little bit. So be conscious of that. So uh, that's all there is to it. You are now backed up. Um, any new files you create, uh, go ahead and drag those in as well. Uh, if you don't make them in Google Drive, it won't automatically back it up. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. Um, the best way to um, counteract that is just go ahead and make stuff in that folder. Uh, start off there, uh, just kind of keep it open all the time uh, and everything will stay backed up. Otherwise, just go ahead, uh, copy it over at the end of the day, at the end of the week, uh, whatever you're comfortable with um, and your stuff will be backed up. So if we do need to re-image your computer or if you drop it uh, out the window, whatever, um, you'll be good to go. Just to reiterate, uh, back everything up seven days before your swap date. If you need stuff backed up, you will have to do that beforehand. Um, other than that, that's all I got for you. Uh, take care. See you next time.